happy Saturday! Join me in this artsy, crafty, fun, and yummy weekend as we learn how to create different, creative, and meaningful projects. I am Teacher Det, and this is Teacher Rebel Weekend Special, where we engage in experiments, explore do-it-yourself activities, and many more. Classes together with the different pressures in the environment can be a bit tiring, can't they? Why not take a break for some time, relax, and try to enjoy while learning something? So, for this episode, we are going to do three experiments that will relieve stress. We will also acquire some science concepts from them. Ready to begin? Let's go! Before we proceed to our experiments, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Bibal's Happy Homeschool Program. Just check the description box to learn more. Alright! Are you excited for our first experiment today? This is one of the most commonly tried do-it-yourself experiments at home. I know some of you are very familiar with this. For our first experiment, we are going to create a gooey slime. And we will understand from a scientific perspective how this experiment becomes successful or why it sometimes fails. For our gooey slime, we are going to need 1 cup of water, 1 cup of clear glue, baking soda, saline solution or a mixture of salt and water, food color. You can also add glitters or mixins for the design. Slime tip! Clear glue slime doesn't need quite as much baking soda as white glue slime. Now, let's start mixing and making! In a bowl, mix 1 cup of water and 1 cup of clear glue. Mix it until it is combined completely. Now's the time to add color, glitter, and mix -ins. Remember, when you add color to white glue, the color will be lighter. Use clear glue for jewel tone colors. Next, stir in 1 teaspoon of baking soda. You can play around with how much you add depending on the amount of glue you have. Slime trivia! Baking soda helps to improve the firmness of the slime. The more you add baking soda, the more your slime will be firm. Mix in 1 tablespoon of saline solution and stir until slime forms and pulls away from the sides of the bowl. If your slime still feels too sticky, you may need a few more drops of saline solution. Slime Trivia! The saline solution is the slime activator and helps the slime to get its rubbery texture. Be careful! Adding too much saline solution can make a slime too stiff and not stretchy. Lastly, start kneading your slime. Now we have our own slime.
It will appear stringy at first, but just work it around with your hands and you will notice how the consistency changes. You can also put in a clean container and set it aside for 3 minutes. And you will also notice the change in its consistency. Slime is awesome for tactile sensory play or can be a substitute for your stress ball. But make sure to wash hands and surfaces after making and playing with slime. Now I have a question. Is slime liquid or solid? Well, it's a little bit of both. And we call these kinds of substances non-Newtonian fluid. It means it can be picked up like a solid but it will also ooze like a liquid. Slime does not have its own shape. You will notice your slime changes its shape to fill whatever container it is placed in. However, it can also be bounced like a ball because of its elasticity. Did you enjoy making a slime? Now, how about we try something cold? We are going to make an instant ice. This experiment will teach us what will happen if we pour frozen water into an ice cube? Want to discover what it is? Let's try it! For our instant ice, we are going to need bottle of purified water, ice cubes, small bowl, and a towel. Another trivia! Usually, water is loaded with particles and impurities that enable the ice to form. But purified water isn't. Because of this, purified water can reach an even colder temperature before becoming solid. Ready to try it? Let's go! First, place the unopened purified water in the freezer. Lay them flat on their sides rather than upright to freeze it better. Turn the bowl upside down over a towel to catch the spills and place a large ice cube on the bowl. Carefully pour the purified water slowly onto the ice cube. Ta-da! The water will create a column of instant ice. Wow! How did it happen? Here's the science behind it. The trick to this experiment is super cold water. You're catching the water when it is cold enough to freeze but hasn't quite frozen yet. When the ice freezes, the water forms small crystals that gradually spread. Pouring it into an ice cube triggers crystal to form faster than they normally would. Amazing, right? Let's have the last one, shall we? After a long, tiring day, sometimes it is relaxing to just turn on a lamp in your room and sleep. Yes? How about we make not just an ordinary lamp, but a lava lamp. Sounds exciting! For our do-it-yourself lava lamp, we are going to need a clean bottle, try to use one with the smooth sides, water, oil, any type of oil will do, fizzing tablets such as Alka-Seltzer, and food coloring. Now let's begin! For the first step, fill the flask with 3 fourths vegetable oil. Then fill the rest of the flask with water. The water will sink to the bottom under the oil and look like little clear blobs. Add a few drops of food coloring. The food coloring is water-based so it will also sink and color the water that is now at the bottom of the flask. Now, 
Next, break an Alka-Seltzer tablet into a few small pieces and drop them in the flask one at a time. Watch your lava lamp erupt into activity. As the reaction slows down, simply add more Alka-Seltzer. Relaxing, right? This is how it works. The oil floats on top of the water because it is less dense or lighter than water. Food coloring has the same density as water, so it sinks through the oil and mixes with the water. When you add the tablet, it sinks to the bottom then starts to dissolve. As it dissolves, it makes gas or carbon dioxide. Gas or air is lighter than water so it floats to the top. The air bubbles bring some colored water with them to the top. When the air comes out of the colored water blob, the water gets heavy again and sinks. It does this over and over again until the tablet is completely dissolved. So that's it for today. I hope these activities will help ease your mind and add knowledge at the same time. Have fun doing more experiments! Also, don't forget to check out the Bal's Happy Homeschool program to experience magical learning at home. See the link in the description to learn more. Again, I am Teacher Det, reminding you to relax, keep calm, and stay crafty. See you again next week for more do-it-yourself videos here in Teacher Vival Weekend Special.